Yeah, that's where I want to be. Welcome to my Wisconsin. I am on the Kettle Moraine Scenic Drive. It is a 115 mile loop between here and the northern unit of the Kettle Moraine Forest. I'm going to go up there and take a look around at the drive. Just the southern part of it. I'm not going to go all the way up. I have another place to go to today. So let's uh, get out there and check it out. which is part of the vast park system in the state of Wisconsin. I have been to several state parks throughout the years, but I've never been to this one, so I thought I'd go up there and check it out. Um, I'm going to go up there and walk around a little bit, but I do have a very cool place I want to go and visit today and bring you along with me. So let's get up to the park first, check her out, walk around a little bit, and then go on to the next stop for the day. at the headquarters of the campground and there's a great museum here and what do I see first some arrowheads that are pretty common apparently in this part of the state and wow look at here we're gonna have to check this out one of these days when they have a presentation this is really really nice oh look at that I'm gonna walk up front ahead a little bit We got a buffalo hide. That is awesome. Wow, what a hidden gem here. Very cool. Of course, everybody recognizes a big deer head. <laughs> All right, I'm going to go take a look around a little bit in the pioneer history part of the uh, museum. So we have Lots of early farming in this part of the country, it looks like. The early land surveyors. Let's see, what does that say? 1835 to 1836, they surveyed this part of the country. Some of the wildlife in the area. And we got the beaver, muskrat, red tailed fox. Skunk, oof. <laughs> Bobcat. And another skunk, looks like the striped skunk. And if you're into birding, the American bittern. 
common. I've seen these quite a few times over my days in traveling, the great egret. And of course, a Thanksgiving favorite, <laughs> turkeys. Very cool. That is really neat. Well, I'm going to go up and talk to the lady at the counter to see what they got about camping in this area. All right, I found some really cool information. I Part of this campground is the Ottawa Lake Campground. Looks like it's pretty nice. So she gave me directions. It's actually up the road from where the station's at. So I'm going to head back into the car and drive up and we'll go take a look at the campground and see if I can pick out a good spot for the summer. Well, I think I found it. Here we are, Ottawa State Park Campground. Let's go up here to County ZZ. <laughs> I think the thing's going to talk in a second so you might hear it. Hold on a second. Get around the corner here. Turn right, then slide right. There we go. Wow, very cool. Slide right, then you will arrive at your destination. All right, let's go in the campground and check out what's going on in there and see if I can find a good spot for camping this summer. All right, campground to the right. Go check it out. Hey, an arrow! Forward! <laughs> wow, what a gem. Let's go further in and see if I can find a really good campsite here. This place is awesome. Doesn't look like much now because all the leaves are off the trees, but I can certainly tell what a great place it's going to be to go camping. Alright, I was told by the camp staff that Campsite 380 is probably one of the best sites in the campground because it overlooks the water. So I'm going to get up in there right here. Get out and take a look. This is cool. All right, so we're at Campsite 380. Absolutely incredible. Let's see here. Definitely a great place to go camping. I'm going to switch over to the other camera here in a second because this isn't picking up really what I want to zoom in on so you guys can check it out. So hang on. All right, so I'm on the Nikon now and I want to get a look at the water here. And I'm going to zoom in because I don't know what it looks like during the summer, but right now, let's see if I can zoom in on this. I don't know if the camera's picking it up. But the water is crystal clear. Very cool. Alright, so it looks like it's not quite a state approved trail, but this is a trail down to the water. Let's get down there and get a closer look at here. What this is all about down here. Oh, look! There's some paddle boarders out there on the water. Boy, some brave souls. It's about 50 degrees, but I'm sure the water's pretty chilly. I think that's the trail leading up to the campsite next door to 380. That's where I came down. I'm going to get up to the water here so you guys can see how crystal clear this is. It's amazing. Looks like somebody had a little fire here at one time. Incredible. So yeah, I think this is a great place I'm going to come camping this summer. Uh, I'm definitely impressed. I've never been to this campground, but I have a feeling this is going to be one of my more favorite ones. Uh, I was up at Devil's Lake a couple weeks back, but boy, as far as natural beauty, this one's really got it topped. 
So, where am I off to next? We're gonna go to Burlington. I'm gonna show you around a little place that uh, most of us Wisconsinites know about. Burlington is called Chocolate City, USA. We're gonna go get some chocolate. <laughs> See when we get there. All right, I'm on my way to Burlington and I'm traveling this road. <laughs> it is really hilly and whoa! It's got a lot of twisted curves in it. <laughs> Enjoy the ride here. I'm gonna see if I can keep the camera. Oh, I can't get camera over this. <laughs> Whoa. Never been done. Oh, here we go. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> In a quarter mile, wow. Whoa. Whoa. I'll tell you what, this scenic drive is really, when you get into the woods, it's really something. Oh, here comes another one. Yeah. Okay, so we have left Walworth County and traveled to the neighboring county, which is real close to where I was, about half hour ride. I'm in Racine County in the town of Burlington, and I am going to go over to the Chocolate Experience Museum. It's supposed to be a really great place to go and check out some chocolate. So, so let's get in there. Burlington is the home of Nestle, then. Burlington has a Nestle plant here, yes. Oh, okay. Yes, we are known as Chocolate City USA. Oh, um, yes. and you were saying about the anniversaries this year? Yes, 30th anniversary of Chocolate Fest. Yeah. 50th anniversary of Nestle's. Cool. In the community, and then 150th anniversary of Nestle Worldwide. And when is the uh, Chocolate Festival? Memorial Day weekend. Memorial Day weekend, so I got to come up here, don't I? Absolutely. Check that out, guys. <laughs> well, I'm going to take a look around, and you said about three doors down, I can pick up some chocolate down there. Yes. Cool. Well, it is good Easter weekend, so I definitely have to go find a oh, chocolate bunny somewhere. Absolutely. There is free samples. Of oh, course. yeah. You are more than welcome to take those. Um, <laughs> well, we are also home with Tony Romo, uh, Mr. Um, Dallas Cowboy himself. Mr. Tony Romo, I don't know if he was a Packer or not, but... No, nope, definitely not a Packer, but he is a Burlington grad, so oh, yes, cool. of course, yes. So, it is oh, nice. Awesome. <laughs> yep. And this is not only the Chocolate Museum, you said this is the Chamber of Commerce for yep, Burlington? Yeah, the Burlington Chamber, yep. And are all these sculptures here, are they made out of chocolate? They are, they are. We use a confectionery glaze on oh. the top of them to keep them sealed and basically keep them fresh. Um, they'll last forever as long as they continue to stay sealed. So these ones are about 250 pounds. And these are made by local and area yes. artisans? Correct, yes, yes. All the chocolate is donated. So um, everything is edible. So as they carve, they are <laughs> they are more than, more than happy to eat some of the scraps. So, um, <laughs> but yes, they do. And this one is our heaviest piece of chocolate. Um, it started out about 700 pounds, so it's close to about 400 pounds still. GPS wow. signal lost. Cool. <laughs> yeah, you can tell my phone just talked to me. That's GPS did here. <laughs> uh, right, right. 50,000 people knows. came to Burlington here last year? Yes. Wow. Yes. That very is amazing. Cool. All right. Is very cool. I've been eyeballing these boxes here. Absolutely. Sorry. Guess the candy. Yes. All so right, so I'm going to go into number off. one here. Absolutely. That is, I want to say, oh gosh, it's one of these two. Crunch. You have to put the box number. Number one. Oh. That's all right. That's <laughs> I follow right. instructions well. Not a problem. Box number two. Where is that little guy? That's got to be crunch. Number two. Number three. That is just a rectangle. <laughs> all the way in the back. All the way to the it back. Should be a baggie all the way in the back. Oh, I got. It. Oh, there it is. Oh, nesting mini souls. Okay, that's number three. Number four. Um, I want to 
to say, I'm probably not right, not even close. I'm going to say Butterfinger. <laughs> Sometimes process of elimination. Number five. Maybe 100 grand bar. Number six. And baby Ruth. Okay. So see how he did. So what does it say? Turn the box around? Turn the plate around. All right. Number two. Oh, God, am I horrible? Number three. Bunch of crunch. Oh. <laughs> Strike three. It's not easy. Number four, crunch. Strike four. Oh my god, I've got a number five. Butterfinger. Wrong. Number six, hundred grand. And then Jody. Alright, I got zero for zero. Wow. That's alright. That's alright. That's my test. Absolutely. Absolutely. There's always a reward. Oh well thank you very much for letting me take a look around. Alright, so she suggested for... I go about three doors down to go get some candy, but I, I've got candy. <laughs> got some samples. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed the trip. I definitely found a really great place to go and camp. And I got a chance to go to downtown Burlington in its historic area and got a chance to look at the candy. No chocolate bunnies there. Oh well, I have to go to the store and pick one up. But uh, for those who are celebrating Easter, I want to say Happy Easter to you. And thanks for coming along, and I'll see you next time on My Wisconsin. No, you've been a good friend. And that's in the thick and thin.